Very important to keep track of all your screws. Sometimes we set the screws in front of us and we can't see them, we're looking. Hey guys, Ron here from Cam Wire for Practical Machinists. This episode, we're gonna talk about how to maintain your wire machine. We're gonna take ours apart. We're gonna scrub it, clean it, do the heads. We're gonna do the tank. We're gonna realign the wire afterwards, show you where the filters and resin and all that good stuff goes. This is what we do on a regular basis to uh, keep our machines running in top shape. All right, guys, here's one of our wire machines that's getting ready for servicing. As you can see down here, you have all this crud. That's dried stuff from the wire cutting. You can see down in the bottom of the tank, there's also a bunch of stuff here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart this head. We're gonna take apart the top head. We're gonna take these cables off. We're gonna take some of the power cables off in the back here to get them clean. We're also gonna scrub out the tank and uh, get it all nice and clean. And then that'll let uh, the current flow properly, get the stuff out of the heads that shouldn't be in there. So one other thing we're gonna take apart here is these carbide power feeders on the top and the bottom. We'll pull those out and then take the head apart. We've got another one down the bottom there. That's what they look like. And you can see the grooves in here where the wire wears through them. So once in a while you have to move them. Now Andy's gonna take the bottom part of the head out. Very important to keep track of all your screws. I'll take the bottom one out. Once when you get them apart, just take the take a look at the overall condition. Does the O-ring look good? Is there any dirt or anything in here? On both of them, top and bottom. Check your nozzles. Make sure those are all good. And you have your ceramic nozzle on the bottom that will uh, unscrew. Special tool. There's a special tool for this one. Depends what kind of machine you have. This one has a special tool that's needed. You unscrew those. Again, you just do a, an inspection on it. How does it look? Is there any chips in it? Is there any garbage in it? And do the same for the upper one. Once again, do an inspection. By paying attention to these little details, that'll help keep the machine running at top notch. So what we do here is we're gonna now soak these We'll dilute it with some water. It's an EDM cleaner that we buy from our uh, EDM supplier. Just fill up, put a little bunch of water in the cup, and then we'll let it soak. It's important to get this nozzle out of that bottom piece. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna start taking the bottom part off and he's gonna take some of the cables off here. Again, keep track of all your screws. The parts that we soaked in the cup, we're just gonna soak them until we're uh, ready to put them back together again. We'll wash them down and then uh, reassemble them afterwards. Also put all the screws in that you're taking apart, especially off the cables in there as well. So make sure they get nice and clean for good contact. I'm gonna take the bottom piece out here. That's the cover.
So here's what this looks like without the cover. You can see a drive wheel down on the bottom here. We're going to pull that out and get everything in there clean as well. You can see where the wire rides in there. We'll get this all cleaned up. We'll soak it in the same solution that we're soaking the screws and the cover plates in. All right, so the next step we're going to do, we've got a nice toothbrush here. We're going to put dip it in some of the uh, EDM cleaner and Andy's going to scrub away here and, and just wipe down the heads. We'll do the contacts as well. One other thing we do, we won't be able to do it this time because the tank isn't dry. When the tank's dry, we'll just put a small thin layer of EDM cleaner in the bottom, let it sit for an hour or so, and then we'll be able to flush it all out and then the, the bottom of the tank gets all clean. And we'll do the bottom head as well. It's important to wear gloves when you're uh, handling this stuff. Now we're going to do the ends of the cables. This helps with the conductivity. The other important reason for doing all this is uh, it keeps all the grit out of the machine. We uh, bought a used machine a few months ago. It obviously hadn't been maintained quite a bit. And uh, we found lines were plugged with uh, grit that turns rock hard when you're done. And you just flush this stuff down with, wa with the water afterwards. Make sure it's rinsed out really good. For the back ones, those were already taken off and cleaned, so now we screwed them back on and we're just uh, scrubbing the rest of it down. Then he'll rinse it off once when he's done with, uh, with water once again. Now to clean the outside of the tank, like the side walls along here, what we'll do is we'll uh, put some EDM clean in, in here, dilute it with some water. We'll just take a little bit of Scotch-Brite and then start scrubbing. We'll do that all the way around the tank and then rinse it off with water afterwards. The other thing we'll do is in the hard to reach areas, we'll use a toothbrush. It may seem a little frivolous to get this clean and use a toothbrush, but this stuff, uh, after years of using it, when your machines are running all the time, it builds up. It's very important to keep this clean. So here's the parts we had put in the cup. As you can see, they're all nice and clean now. Ready to go back in. Uh, we're just still scrubbing out the uh, sidewalls of the tank, and then once when that's done, uh, we'll get these all in, and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it's done scrub pretty much as clean as we can get it. Even got the bottom clean a little bit. A little bit. So now what we're going to do is uh, start putting it back together. So now we're starting to put it back together. We put the carbide plates back in the bottom. Make sure you put them in the right way and the grooves are good. Now we'll start uh, screwing everything back in, putting the nozzles in. See how clean that is and how good the connections are now.
important to make sure that's tight before you screw the nozzle cover on. There we go. We just got the cover to put back on the wheel down at the bottom there. And then that's the, the basic maintenance that we do. While once in a while we'll get in more into a deeper maintenance where we'll take the heads completely apart and then uh, do a deep clean with them. We'll put them in a agitating uh, cleaner to let them agitate and get it really clean as well. So one important thing we do here after we do the maintenance is you got to check the wire alignment and reset it the heads are out of alignment just slightly, then you're not going to get a good cut. So there's our alignment block there. And he's just getting the screen set up here to do an alignment. What it's going to do is it's going to move the bottom head and the top head and get the wire lined up. Do the compensation for it. It'll take a couple of minutes for this to be done. What it does is it keeps going back and forth and touching the block. So it has conductivity against the block the way it senses it. And then it changes the offsets. All right, so the Y axis is now done. This will we'll move it around and we're going to take it and it'll start hitting on this side to do the X axis. And then the head alignment will be complete. And then you can uh, start cutting. One of the things we'll do also is keep an eye on the filter pressure. So right here, the wire's not running, so you won't see a measuring here. What we'll do over here, these are the filters. Once when they get plugged up and the high pressure gets too high, we'll swap the filters out and then put new filters in. The other thing we do, uh, we'll clean out this, uh, the chiller filter, give that a blowout with air. Uh, depending on the conductivity of the water, we'll also need to change out the resin, and uh, which will, uh, Take that out, out of the tank there, put in new resin, and then uh, that'll get the distilled water going. Leave your comments below on how you guys maintain your machines and what other maintenance tricks that you have up your sleeve. Keep those spools turning and the wires burning.